wise and mentally prepared for it, mm -hmm. you can end up on the other end of some nasty, nasty business. Bowser's like, it, dealing with Bowser in this game is a lot like dealing with kind of, it's kind of like dealing with uh, Geef or Abigail in Street Fighter V, where you know that, you like, know what their gimmicks are. Mm -hmm. You know the basic game plan. It's like, okay, I can't get grabbed, I can't get close, because if I get close, I'll get grabbed. But, at the same time, if you, it's very, very easy just to do a simple mistake that ends up with the grab. And yeah, the comeback factor on Bowser is astronomical. It might look like Ned has a significant lead, but this is a two-grab lead. Oh yeah, no, this Rage is not doing Ned any favors because Tyroy is realistically just two or three grabs away from gaining the stock. Oh. Well, unless that happens, and yeah. Ned just keeps it on lockdown for the entirety of that first stock, only taking 32%. Probably yep. sending a message to Tyroy, yeah, I know better. I've had enough of this Bowser crap. <laughs> Give me your <laughs> real character. <laughs> Like enough, enough of the King Koopa. Yeah, I don't think this grab will kill, but I believe the next will. All right, there's one. Back air. Oh, and got him to tech on the platform. That was a risky jab, but it worked out for him. Oh. Oh. oh okay, Ned. You can. Okay. Oh, all right. We we get it. A little bit mad. <laughs> yeah, I think that was like a pseudo limit usage there because he could have made it back with the limit even if he missed so yeah that was that was just ned saying he's like you know what I'm tired of this yeah he's just, just done with that crap it's like that's that was just the fun time is over down air all right so it looks like we're seeing lucina yeah T tyra is not confident in the bayo cloud matchup at all it's probably Bayonetta's worst matchup, and it, it looks brutal when it's played correctly by the Cloud. So Tyra is always looking for good counterpicks to beat Cloud. Lucina, typically considered to be one of the best anti-Cloud characters, uh, she doesn't necessarily win, but it's very, very even. And Tyra's Lucina is no joke. He, he's won Champagne Weeklies with it before. Um, so yeah, it makes sense that he'd try this. I'm also fairly certain a little while ago at like a Poplar or something, he pulled out Lucina and he beat Ned with it in Grands. Oh, uh, okay. I think Ned might have adapted to it later. I'm not sure. That but... makes a lot of sense because from what I from what I know, it's just kind of how Tyro plays is where if he figures out a counterpick strategy and it starts to work, even if it works once, then he usually starts yeah, experimenting with it in the next couple weeks. Mm -hmm. And he's been playing this matchup down the line. His Lucina has been super solid, just playing just straight up Oof. defensive neutral. Yeah. And he's been keeping the percents close, but Ned has, for the most part, has been maintaining center stage a lot more. Mm -hmm. But Tar has been getting more off of his combos, so... Oh, he Ooh. was just short. Needed to just reach a little bit farther. <sighs> Trying to break the shield, but Ned is long gone by the time it gets there. Yeah, nobody home. Oh, Ooh, called him the out! Movement. And the taunt! Okay. And yet, I mean, it's pretty easy for Lucina to get Cloud. She's one of the best characters at doing it. So Ned has to be really careful in this situation, otherwise he could just lose this game. Just like that. Keeping Ned, uh, Tower's doing a good job of just throwing out aerials enough to keep Ned in shield and at least just keep a presence. So that way he can go in and punish anything, any sort of shenanigans that Ned tries to throw out. Yep, pressuring Cloud is one of the best ways to deal with that extremely powerful option of limit charge, so... Oh, caught him reaching. Yeah, I think he misread what the get-up option was going to be. He might have also just messed up his inputs, but this could be big. Uh, smart of Ned to just go back to the ledge. If he had tried to air dodge back on stage, he likely would have died. Ooh. Well, the spacing from both of these guys has been insane. <laughs> Out right. for blood. Wake up and get up jabs. On uh, Ned, looking to get his footing though. He's realized that Cloud's backer will outspace every single one of Lucina's options. Good old Cloud. Right, going in with that grab. 
Ned's just, now that he's got limited, he's trying to chase Tyroid down, but Tyroid is doing a good job of just evading, keeping in and out of Ned's uh, footsie range, and just baiting him into some of these unsafe approaches. Ned's recovery is a really smart, too. He leads the tech roll on the platform. This could be big. And the lead escapes Tyroid. This oh, is that scary. down tilt, it was, that was a really high risk because the egg could have just jumped up and punished that. <gasps> oh, he's just staying The bravery from Tyra, but... <gasps> oh, no! Oh. Oh, my oh. God. That should have been death. Tyra fell out of that. That should have been... That should have been dead. I think he was just too far away, and he was DIing the correct direction to get it to not connect all the way. Oh boy! Oh, the DBZ trade. <laughs> Everyone runs to try and meet each other. Oh, that dash attack that goes unpunished. That could be huge. Auto canceled up air. Oh. The back air, and that's gonna close it out. Ned taking it in a nail biter of a game too. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's it. That wasn't a finals or anything. That was just winner semis because zero is the one seed here tonight. Mm -hmm. This chair is so low. Um, move it up. Panda bear making the chair all low. I don't know how to work you this can't thing. blame panda bear for this. Oh, oh it is panda bear's oh, oh. All right. It's a lever. Come on. Th there you go. I there there it. you all go. Right, all right. There we you fixed go. it. We fixed the issue.